Hello and welcome to City Edition, the City of Bend's video news magazine. I'm Justin Feinstone. The City Council recently passed new water and sewer rate structures. The new structures means you'll only pay for water you use and conservation could save you money. The City Council has been reviewing water and sewer rate structure for a number of years. In December, the Council made a decision on changing that rate structure. That rate structure will now include removing our existing allowances for both water and sewer. That means we'll no longer charge people uh, for water that they don't use. The vote we took on water rates is really going to change a lot of things. The first thing it'll change is people who don't use a lot of water, they're currently being uh, charged for 400 cubic feet of uh, water a month. If you use less than that, under the current system, you're being charged for water that you don't use. So that's going to change. Basically what we did was we shifted to a system where your bill is more dependent on the water that you actually use. Both residential customers and our business customers will be charged the same for each unit of water that they use. Over the next six months we're going to be doing some testing of the new rates and then it'll go into effect in July of 2015. Sewer is charged by customer class, different from the way water is charged. The city has decided to maintain the residential and non-residential rate classes for sewer and increase those categories for non-residential to include our extra strength customers of low, medium, high, and super high based on the concentration of their wastewater effluent that's discharged from their location. Uh, what we're going to be doing this winter is looking at everybody's winter water use and we're going to use that to set people's sewer rates. We will measure the amount of water you're consuming and use that as a indicator of how much water you're using indoors. And we will base your water sewage volume charge on that amount. Back in the old days, everybody paid pretty much the same for water because there weren't even meters on people's, at people's houses. So a lot of that has changed. There's much more of a focus on conservation now. And I think that's the big element, that people are more conserved, concerned about conserving water these days. So we changed the rate structure to re re reflect that. Because your bill is more based on your usage now, here are some conservation tips from our water department. One of the best places to look for leaks in the home is right here inside the bathroom. And here we have two sinks, a toilet, a shower head, lots of places, lots of opportunity for water leaks to occur. Best thing to do is every now and then, probably every month, Come around, take a look at your faucet, make sure there isn't a recurring drip or anything like that, and then open up the cupboards down here. Get down and see if there's any water in the bottom of the cupboard or if you can see any visible signs of, of water damage. Another common area of leaks inside the bathroom is right here at the toilet. A lot of times what you'll find is you'll have water inside the tank that will leak down into the bowl without the homeowner or resident even knowing it. So one of the best ways to test for it is to drop a little food coloring or a dye tablet like I have right here and drop it into the tank. Wait about 10 minutes. Well, this water here will turn blue and if we have blue water down here in the bowl that means we've got a leak and we've got a repair to do. Next place to look for uh, leaks is here at the shower head. This particular shower head here is a highly efficient model. It's a EPA water sense, two gallons per minute flow rate. A very, very efficient model. And you can also find highly efficient uh, bathroom fixtures for the toilets, for the faucets as well. One of the more frequently used faucets inside the home is right here in the kitchen. If you don't have a low flow model uh, kitchen sink, one of the things you can do is install one of these two types of low flow devices here, aerators on the end of it. And that'll increase your sinks efficiently significantly. Another area of water efficiency inside the home that people might want to take a closer look at is their washing machine. If you have an older or outdated wa uh, washing machine, it can use a lot of water, up to 15 to 20 gallons per cycle. This particular model here is relatively new and it's got the Energy Star label and the High Efficiency label, which means that this one uses a significantly less water in the area of five to six gallons every cycle. For more water saving ideas, go to our website at waterwisetips.org.